Hey guys and gals, this here is Mike again with the Torp Show for Lunch. I have a friend of mine, he asked me would uh, basically fix this thing back up and restore it back. Now this is not a full restoration of it's perfect and all that. He just, there's a lot of things on this right here that he just wants kind of ground back down flat. He just basically wants his axe right here. It's where someone's beaten, banged on it. Basically just wants it sharpened back up, all the rust pulled off of it, get it taken care of, and get this thing here up to part so he can take it out and just beat and bang on it himself. So stick around, let's get started on this project. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do for the first thing is I'm gonna go ahead and let's get this here flat. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get that out of it instead of trying to just taper it all down. We're just gonna grind that flat like you would a lot more. All right guys, it is gonna be noisy in here due to the fact that the fan is on, but it is 104 degrees outside and it's about 125 inside. So we're gonna get this done. So let's go ahead and get started on it. and let's get this here bird down. that one there is almost out of it. I don't want to go too far because it'll start rolling the bevel up, but I want to get it all out of there, so I'm just going to slightly go into the bottom. We're where we need to be and then when I come back with a paddle grind on that right there then we'll come back and see how much more I need to or what I need to do. Let's go ahead and knock this other side out. I don't want to get past the Made in the USA. I want that to stay in it because this is an old 1950s craftsman so I don't want to get that taken out. I believe we're good. So let's go on over to the other side and work it off with a paddle. Okay, what I'm going to be using right here is an abrasive. It's just a little wheel that's an abrasive. I'm not going to hit it hard. I just want to get down in there and get anything on. One thing I want to know, keep this up above your grinder just a little bit so that way you don't grind down on your wheel or anything like that. If you'll notice when you were looking there was very minimal sparks coming off if anybody else does this right here this thing right here the hottest that it has gotten would be is if you left it laying in the back of your truck in a hot sunny day so i mean that's you don't want to bear into it we're not trying to deep it out because there wasn't a lot of rust or anything of that nature on this one right here we just want to get it off so i can come back and put a polish on it and then get a nice little smooth edge on it so this particular side here has some pits in it. I'm not going to go in there to get them pits out because once I do that, I take the balance out of it. It just it would be better to leave them in there, get it polished up as best that we can with it, get the edges cleaned on up, make sure they're nice, smooth, 90 degree edges where they need to be, and then beveled where they should be. I just got a small piece of leather that I'm going to put in between it, just in case it is a little soft. We ain't got to crank it down too hard, but I don't want to put any. Okay. 
here's where it gets tricky. You can see she's starting to shine up. We're gonna come back over with some more sandpaper after we get it now. These pits right here, I'm not gonna take those pits out because then I'm gonna start getting way too much into the metal. This is not a let's blow your mind thing. This is just something he wants to take, put in his work truck van stuff and have for whenever he's out camping that he doesn't really mind to get it beat up if it does so. Yeah. We boogered the old finger up on this one right here, but it's all right, so we still can get this here taken care of. Um, basically, what I've got here is just my Nicholson file. Um, it's one of the, it, it's, it's not an American made, it's made in Mexico, so it's not the one that I normally would do this with, but I have looked for it and I can't find it. So, here's what I've got. I want to get an edge on that. I do not want this to shave. I want this to still be able to fail, cut, and then pop, cut, pop, cut, pop. So I don't want to take and file that thing straight into a long edge to where it's down into here. I just want to get it top to where it's got a sharp edge and then it can ride back, basically convex it back into it. So. I'm just gradually taking it off. I'll swift it over to the other side after I feel that I've taken enough off of this one for now. Some spots are just not as even as others, so I'm taking a little off as I go until I can get it down. This is gonna take me about 30 minutes with this file. So I'm not gonna film the whole thing, but we're gonna take it on down. And that's the concept of doing the whole thing is just It's cleaned up. I'm gonna do some final sanding, but before I go through all the trouble of sanding, a lot of the pit and get into the light, you can kind of see the pits that are in it. Those, I, in order to get that rust out of them, the carbon, whatever it is, I'm gonna go ahead and soak it in some vinegar. All right, here's some apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna try this one here. I'm used to just using pure white vinegar. I've heard apple cider does a little bit better. We're gonna try it out and see if it does. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna dump this off into it. We're gonna go ahead and place his in it. I'm gonna be gone for about eight hours to nine hours tonight working. So we'll flip it over when I come back. But it shouldn't need much, but I wanna get it toward both of it. We're just gonna fill it up. So it crosses the top. All right, this has been sitting in here for about 10 hours. I don't know if you can notice it or not, but it is already taking its toll as far as getting it out. There's all. And she's cleaning up real well. I'm gonna take it out, flip it over. Now, if you'll look, you can see, and that's how well it's cleaning itself up inside of it. Let me get you this right here. Kind of doing this in a tight spot, but. What we're 
we're going to do next now is I'm going to take Brian's axe head. I'm going to pull it out of the vinegar fat. I'm going to put it in some Dawn dishwashing soap. And then I'm going to wipe that off with some baby wipes. I'm going to transfer it over, put it into my little small toaster oven at 350 degrees to let it dry. That'll help break off some of the rust if it's going to happen. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some WD-40 in stuff. That's it. Here's my brass wire brush. Give it a good cleansing. Well, I still got the vinegar on it. Take it over there and stick it in the oven. All right, so we've got it in there. It's not going to take but about five minutes to pretty much get rid of any of the moisture that was in there. And then we'll soak it down with the rest of the WD-40. And that one right there will be done. inside the window. She's already went off. It's been 10 minutes. There's a tiny form of rust right there on the inside. Um, it's probably where the wire brush didn't get it, but that'll form right on up to the head. And I'll put some WD-40 water displacement inside of it so we'll pull it out here in a minute when she cools off to the top reach in there it's still a little warm but it's enough to get out with this so we're gonna get it placed over here and get some wd-40 on it before she gets rubbed just up spraying just a little bit on it getting in there the back of it now we're gonna flip it over Let's let it soak in. Guys and gals, we have come to the conclusion of this video. Um, there it is. Um, he's going to fit this with his own handle. He wants to pick his own handle out. Um, make sure his grains are good. I mean, it's as clean as a whistle, as clean as it's going to get. I mean, I went ahead and resharpened it a little bit, and as you can see, it's sharp. Um, another boo boo mistake that I made. But. That's how I clean them. Um, here lately, I have been getting into a little bit of restoration, trying to learn as much of it as I can. Doing a little bit of research, um, doing a little bit of trial and error with them. And this one right here turned out very well. Um, I'm learning a lot more about axes. And I've come to find out that I actually have about four axe heads that are very valuable that I did not know that were valuable. Those will be coming up in a video series coming up and doing some restoration on those. But I want to make sure that I've gotten this one right here done and it's clean, cleared out, done, it's over with. It'll be spitted up, be a nice little axe to put in his van, carry it around with him. So with that being said, I appreciate everything that everybody does all the time that you've stopped in here and you've commented. I've got several people that comment on a religious basis and I appreciate each and every one of those that do that. So thanks again and we'll catch you on another one.